Hey guys, welcome back. Let's dive into jumping parallel timelines. Exciting. So uh, we do this all the time, quite literally, because as you know, there is no time. Linear time is an illusion. It is simply a matter of consciousness jumping from one parallel configuration of energy to another parallel configuration of the universe, etc. And the word parallel implies that they already coexist right next to each other. In other words, there is no actual time. We simply move from one already existent universe to another already existent universe to another already existent universe. And we do this billions of times each second. Therefore, we generate the illusion of movement and of space and of time and motion, etc. And change. Nothing actually changes, structurally speaking. Everything already exists, as we've learned in lesson, everything happens at once, everything exists at once. However, or not however, but in addition to seeing that life consists of parallel realities, we can also see each parallel reality as having, let me put it this way, every timeline consists of a sequence of parallel realities that all makes sense within that timeline. So in other words, there is endless timelines and each timeline consists of billions of parallel realities per second, but there's other timelines that have another story of other billions of parallel realities happening each second or being moved through by that consciousness every second. In other words, there's infinite parallel realities and within infinite parallel realities, you can connect those already existent parallel pictures or realities in any type of order that you so desire. And one timeline may never experience certain pictures and another timeline may experience pictures that the other timeline never experiences. So in other words, timelines exist of consist of parallel realities, parallel reality frames. So to say that a parallel reality is an alternate timeline, we could say that, but to be more precise, a timeline consists of many, many, many parallel realities that are experienced from a certain point of view in a certain way, in a certain order. And there is many, 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 many timelines that each have a different type of sequence of parallel realities that makes sense to that particular timeline. So that can be so far apart that one timeline will never be able to even recognize the form and the type of experience that another type of consciousness out there in the universe potentially may experience. It might be so different, such a different perspective, such a different way of using the senses of consciousness and such a different type of vibratory state of these parallel realities sequences that we would simply not recognize each other. In fact, in a sense, we could say this happens all the time because right now you're in a particular frequency and you're not recognizing all the other alternate timeline realities that are also available. So you can start utilizing this consciously and you can actually learn to jump timelines. And this is very interesting. I've done this many times. We all do this in a sense, mechanically speaking all the time, but we can do it in a more significant way to where it's actually becoming noticeable. So again, I've done it in a noticeable way many times over my life, over the course of my life. So that right now, when I look back upon two weeks ago, I don't recognize my life. I don't recognize myself. When I look back two years ago, I absolutely don't recognize myself. It absolutely feels like it's someone else. So you can develop the same habit, the same tool, the same privilege, the same birthright, the same ability because you already use the ability, but now you can start using it consciously, deliberately, and have fun with it. So there's many ways to do this. And again, mechanically, structurally, energetically speaking, every second you've jumped timelines. However, not to a significant enough degree where we can say, okay, this is a completely different timeline. But again, you can make that more significant. You can make that difference more drastic, more dramatic. In a, and in accordance, most importantly, make that be in accordance, make that change be in accordance with your highest bliss, your highest joy, your highest desire. Otherwise, what is the point, right? You might as well be in this one. 
So there is many ways to increase this significance, the significance of that change. And basically, if you look upon your life as it already is and as it, alre as it already has unfolded, you will see that there's been many moments in your life where you had a very powerful urge or surge rather. It's like a, it's an urge, but it's like a surge of I want change. It's a very strong palpable desire. I want to change something. If you remember the three day process uh, lesson, this would be the day one experience. There is a very profound change in energ energetic orientation, vibrational orientation of you as an individual, as an individuation of all that is. So you have a change of heart, you have a change of intention, a change of mindset, a change of belief system. Now when this change is executed and is seen through all the way, is taken all the way through the day two challenge into the day three of the celebration, confirmation and transformation, what quite literally has happened is that you have jumped in your vibration significantly enough to where we can say if you could actually see it on a piece of paper drawing a line between the different dots, which represent each represent a parallel reality, it would look like this was your previous life, just a straight line, and then suddenly, oop, it jumped up a notch, and now it continued in a similar line, or maybe a slightly different direction, but on a wholly different level. So quite literally, then we can say that you have shifted timelines, you've changed your timeline. This also means, weirdly enough, actually, that you have not only changed your future experience, what you will be experiencing, but the body, mind, vibrational spectrum or reality that you are now inhabiting, that you are now conscious of, actually also has a different past. One that you might not remember, although you can even, also this is weird, but you can even gain memory of experiences that you never had in your previous timeline. Those are experiences that your present self has had because again, time is an illusion. And so what you're quote unquote tuning into or downloading is not so much an actual memory. You never actually have a memory in that sense, but it's simply you, you notice a parallel picture that represents or that corresponds rather that corresponds to the vibratory state that you now shifted into. So now you have access to future and past simultaneously of this new future self, uh, sorry, of this new parallel self that you've chose, this new parallel timeline self. And so being in that energy, will, you will naturally be in a different type of memory and in a different type of probability projection into your future. So one way to specifically do this is to actually change your past. So this is one simple method that we could learn to apply. So what you do is you take an event that you remember from your past, perhaps one that you don't really enjoy, one that you don't prefer, one that you in a sense wish wasn't yours, even though you can see right now it has benefited you, it has helped you become who you are. But take that memory that you have a bit of a nasty aftertaste from and change it, quite literally, simply by exerting, that's not the right word, by overwhelming that memory with your new chosen frequency, vibration, energy. So let's say that that new vibratory state that you prefer over your memory is love and joy and support and respect. That is what you experience. So simply take those frequencies or one of them and overwhelm your past with that particular moment in your past with that particular frequency that you chose and see what happens. It's like you keep massaging, energetically massaging your image of your past with a different vibratory state. You overwhelm it. You insert it, you superimpose your new vibratory state onto your image, your memory from the past that you don't really enjoy. And as you keep exuding that energy of love and light and vibration of um, aliveness, vibration and respect and support and being loved and all that, the more you keep superimposing that onto the image, you will start to see the image starts to change. Now this is not a delusion as such. This is actually you shifting into a parallel timeline where you had a slightly different or a significantly different experience of a very similar moment. But you're now in a parallel reality 
which is of a, shall we say, higher vibratory state, a more evolved, more expanded version timeline of your experience, an alternate self, basically, you're inhabiting an alternate version of yourself. And this has a different past. So now that you keep changing that past experience, you're actually in the present, moving yourself into a different timeline, you're shifting into a different timeline more drastically than you normally would shifting through parallel realities on automatic pilot. Right now you're making this conscious and deliberate and you're changing it so significantly that you're actually starting to change your memory of the past. So try this out, see what happens. Suddenly it is a completely different picture. And the same person perhaps that abused you suddenly starts hugging you sincerely and with no other meaning than to simply hug you and love you and support you unconditionally. This is just one example. Or the boss that fired you now suddenly gave you a big um, commission or a reward or um, gave, you, gave you an upgrade. So you will see that your image of what happened changes. And even if it does not make sense to your present memory of your timeline, simply allow that to be okay but keep superimposing your chosen vibratory state onto that past image, watch it change, and allow that to be a permission symbol for you feeling that you have actually changed in the present to a different parallel timeline that is of a more aligned nature, that is of a freer, more transparent nature. More transparent to what? More transparent to your heart's absolute desires, who you truly are wanting to manifest itself through your body-mind individuation experience. Another way to change your timeline is to simply change your timeline. Now this is a, in a sense a more advanced method because it doesn't use any other permission symbol. It doesn't use any other technique. It simply allows you to decide upon a different being in a different timeline, jumping into a different timeline. And then just like that, using the confidence, if anything, what you use is to superimpose the frequency of confident change into your present experience. And right there, right then, you will start to feel a difference in vibratory state. You will start to change how you feel, how you see. And that actually signifies that you have changed into an alternate timeline. You will have different memories come up. You will have access to different future passions and creativity. So try that one. It's very direct. You can always apply it. And the more you practice it, the more your confidence becomes this overwhelming, very powerful, overpowering energy that allows you to shift your reality in an instant, more and more. Confidence is powerful, faith is powerful. Trust, deliberate confidence is very potent, it's a very powerful tool. Another way to jump timelines is to use visualization. So you would simply sit down as in meditation Center yourself a little bit, relax, take a deep breath, give away all thoughts for two to five seconds. Recognize the changelessness, the essence, the perf perfect nature of timeless presence or timeless awareness. Or do anything that allows you to feel centered and feel comfortable within yourself. And then you visualize, you imagine what it is that you wish to shift into. Visualize that reality to such an extent that you will actually start to feel the vibratory changes of the act of visualization. And as soon as you start to see those vibratory changes, and we'll get into this a little more in a later lesson called see it, feel it, be it. But as you visualize this powerfully enough in the present, simply visualize another scenario, you start to actually become that reality shift into that reality. And when do you know you have actually shifted into a different timeline? Well, again, you do this all the time, so it's not even a question. You always have shifted into a parallel reality. But that timeline change has become more significant when you actually feel different now, when you feel your mood has significantly changed, when you feel your outlook on life has significantly changed, when you feel that your perspective on things have changed, your grudges of the past no longer really hold sway, and your concerns about the future feel completely lightened up and freed up and you feel more ecstatic, you feel more aligned. Whenever you feel more stable, more grounded and yet freer at the same time, more aligned in other words, more inside of your own center of alignment, 
you feel better overall. Every time there's a significant change in your mood, you did something, whether you did it consciously or unconsciously, deliberately or accidentally, but you did something to cause yourself to shift into a parallel timeline. In fact, this is the only way that, in a sense, emotional changes are possible. You can only change emotionally if you shift your vibration significantly enough to where you are in a different timeline. And suddenly you'll notice you're more confident about your future. You're no longer looking to the past. You're no longer holding grudges and regrets. You no longer feel attached to the person that left you perhaps, or to the people that you left. You feel free, you feel empowered, you feel more powerful. This is a sign that in a sense you've done a good job and you have shifted confidently into a parallel timeline experience that has a different past and that has a different future. And so you will attract a different future than you would have in your alternate parallel reality where you just moved out of. So in a sense, it's like moving houses. It's like moving locations. It's no different. You simply give yourself permission to feel that you have changed. You give yourself permission to know that you have changed. You give yourself permission to be the change that you wish to see in the world, quite literally. And when you do this, you will see that your reality changes because again, the law of attraction will naturally and the law of reflection, meaning that everything that you perceive reflects who you are, who you assume yourself to be, what your state of being is like, what your timeline is like. Your circumstances reflect the nature of your vibratory timeline state of being. The homework for this day's lesson is threefold. Well, in addition to reading this text again, or listening to this audio or watching this video, once more, at least, before you proceed with the next lesson, there is three assignments, which is to try out those three basic techniques. The first one being to change your past. So you go to a past memory and you superimpose upon it, you overwhelm it with another new frequency state that you would rather have that memory been a representation of. So choose an energy state such as love, such as light, such as excitement, such as support, such as being loved in that memory that you don't really like as you presently remember it and overwhelm it with your chosen frequency. Just keep massaging it energetically with your new chosen state of being and see how somehow miraculously your mind starts to come up with different images of the same memory. It starts to change the way it looks. This is how malleable memory is. This is how malleable your timeline is. Try this. The second one is to simply choose to shift just like that. You have a certain frequency in mind. You have a certain desire in mind. There has to be a certain desire. Otherwise, this particular method won't work. You got to have a desire for a change. So whenever you feel frustrated with your present timeline, allow that to motivate you, not make you grumpy, but allow that to motivate you and excite you for something else must be coming. I must desire some kind of change. So let me make that change. Don't wait for the change. Simply choose and insert and overwhelm your experience with your chosen vibratory timeline experience and know that you have changed. Feel that you have changed. Be that change, period. And by simply knowing, simply deciding that I know I have changed and that is enough, you will start to see effects. You will start that you start attracting different things, etc. Because you literally jump timelines when you jumped confidently into another vibrational realm altogether. And number three is visualization. Practice the art of visualization of imagination. And again, we'll get into this more in a couple of lessons called see it, feel it, be it. But for now, simply start to get a hint of this, get a glimpse of this. You sit down a la meditation and you visualize the timeline experience, what it looks like and what it feels like to the best of your ability. And when you very, very clearly see it, you can start to feel it and start to be it. So you're quite literally downloading yourself or uploading yourself rather into a parallel timeline experience that has a different past, that has a different future by strong visualization. So try this exercise as well. And there's a bonus exercise, which is if you want to, if it feels inspiring to you, write down your own method. So come up with your own method to change your vibratory state enough to where you can Give yourself permission to understand, believe and feel and know and see the results of the fact that you have changed 
from one parallel timeline reality to another timeline reality. And you feel different about your past and you feel different about your future. And most of all, you feel amazing right now. So any method, any permission slip, any type of imagination, any type of practice or tool that you intuitively come up with to shift timelines that feels most germane, feels most natural and immediate to your particular makeup, your particular design. Write that one out and I would love it if you shared that with the other people in the study group so that we can sort of build a little library inside of this lesson study group only of these different types of ways within which we can very easily shift timelines, change our past, change our future, change what we attract to ourselves. And most of all, most importantly, change the vibratory nature of our present feeling state, because that is key to everything. Enjoy, have fun. See you in another timeline experience.